out the train to Armadillo. Run like the wind, Mr. Horse. How far are we? Oh, we're miles away. Oh, I can't be bothered to deal with the train today. Go to Nigel. Let's go. Horse. Do not appreciate horse. Go. Oh yeah. Running through. Trying to run up a thing. Running in place. <laughs> oh my gosh, horse! You're the useless horse. Sliding down a hill. Get on the horse. Make it horse if you try. Woo! Woo! Hello. Well, howdy. howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? That'd well, be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. <laughs> Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh, y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth, uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No, can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don, Don Julio. Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. Man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old Coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. <laughs> they sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper, proper tie. tie. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Huh? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> Wait, is that the quest? Am I am I now on a quest? Probably I'm I'm okay. You know what? I'm gonna mosey on into town. Yeah, okay, so it's just a normal quest, so I can just go back at any time. Let's mosey on into town. Zoom! Zoom! There we go. There it 
Here's Armodello. Frank, you are Frank. Come on, Frank. Let's go. Let's mosey on into town. Woman. Oh, they took my boy. My boy. Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy okay. is missing. Oh. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. <laughs> can't the police force help you? No. They can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. All right. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. Okay, that's just another mission. We go to this one. You shall not give false testimony except for profit. And I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West okay. Dickens, Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin, at your service. At my service. Mm, at everyone's service. Yeah. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I do a bulk discount rate of one ninety-five an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more. That's a <laughs> lot of immortality. Oh, uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. Mm -hmm. Um, listen, Marston, I'm broke, but this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer. Why would I want to do that? And I'll explain while we go. Okay. To Ridgewood Farm, the sick and needy await us. Oh, the life of a wandering saver of souls. Mm -hmm. And we ride. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Carson. Good week in the week. Gullible out of their hard earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible if I may be so bold or heeding such ill informed scuttle. You're as full of wind as a horse with the collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. Point. <laughs> <laughs> Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. 
We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our products must really must it. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your god talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret I'll drop this. I'll you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be forming. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the queen. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. Okay. So it is all a sham. No, no, just a little innocent. Ballyhoo! <laughs> Enterprise, that's all. Do you think that buxom young girl you see on the Boyette camera post knows the first thing about photography? Advertising, my boy, is the future. You'd best be a man of your word. Come on. Me put the gun away. Oh, the usual button for putting guns away in GTA. Okay. Oh, Are you sick. tired of hurting? Tired of being sick? I was once too. Friends, hardworking souls of. Cholus friends, <laughs> gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures really? headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothache, backache, swelling, it's just frame, funny tasting sore chest, water, swelling of the throat. Contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, <laughs> stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. Really? <laughs> Does it? But can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by taking a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no okay. longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science. Are you really? And today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved. Is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. <laughs> what a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Okay. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Oh, I have to use a pistol, do I? is still adjusting to his powerful new eye. Ah! Try again, friend. The tonic may still be taking hold. Uh, so this is a lie. Go home, West Dickens. Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle. Granted by imbibing Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. 
This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above okay. our heads. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Get ready. He's about to throw it. Okay. Okay. See? That's your target. Boom. What? Do not write him off yet. He is still adjusting to the yeah, power Yeah, I, I, I thought you had to press the trigger. I didn't actually know how to use that. Come on, then. Here it comes. I thought we was here to see this. No! No, 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 no. Oh, no! It's... I don't understand this. Do not write him off yet. He is still adjusting to the powerful tonic. Yes, come on, get on with it. Steady yourself, stranger. You ready to get it married? Boom, Diada! Behold the power of the elixir plucked out of the sky. Hey, hey! What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? They ain't no work like that. Come on! Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteers. I'm gonna kick your butt. Look at him! The tonic is coursing through his veins! Okay. Punchy, 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 punchy. Brown Echo. There it is! Skeptics and dissenters! Irrefutable proof! Yeah! Do not let this opportunity pass you by! Look, he's over there. Let's go get him. Watch out! He's got a gun! Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. that can only be afforded by the West Dickens Elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. No harm in trying one bottle of One bottle of them. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks bearing gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. <laughs> you come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. Uh, he's a most often found at Coots Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan Yard! Really? <laughs>